Hi guys, long time since I did a video on YouTube. Um, well, I've been uh, away for quite some time doing some work at the office. And then obviously I'm working on my personal project. You can still go and check my art station. I have a bunch of new stuff. But it is not what we're going to talk about today. Today we are going to talk about lookup table in Substance Painter. So, as you know, in Substance Painter, you can uh, use a lookup table, right? You come here and uh, you just uh, active a color profile and you get one that you like. Example, uh, we're going to get the, the vintage one, right? And uh, that's pretty much it. I was a little bit upset with that because uh, I use lookup table in Redshift in Photoshop and uh, I did have difficulty to find a way to use them in Painter because Painter is using an uh, Excel image and I deal with a uh, cube file. Well, my good friend Jeremy Noguer from Algorithmic was very nice and uh, after exposing him my issue, he came back the next day with a solution and uh, he is totally cool with me sharing that solution with you, which I'm going to do right now. This point I would like to say, thank you, Jeremy. Uh, here, what do I do? Well, in Photoshop, you're going to open following file. It's called SRGBF AXR, and you get it from Program File Algorithm, Suspender, Resource Shelf, Algorithmic Color Classic. So, when you have that file in Photoshop, you're going to assign a lookup table. Look, color lookup, I'm going to grab, uh, let's use uh, a default one from Photoshop. For good night. No, we don't like this one. Uh, Fuji, 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 Fuji. Uh, let's see. Yep, this one looks like something different. Then I'm going to create another one using one of mine, color lockup, and uh, I'm going to use uh, load. And I have a bunch of lookup tables that I did either buy or download from some free one that I found online. Uh, let's go this one, maybe standard and maybe some W. Let's see, this one should be a nice one. Okay, one and two. And uh, at this point, I just come here and say file, save as. I'm going to save it as a EXR. And this one is going to be called um, test. Um, actually, I'm not going to save them here. I'm going to save them on my desktop because I don't want to keep them. New folder, plot, uh, test A, save, none. Then I'm going to save this one, file, save as, stop, bada bim, bada boom, desktop, uh, lots, AXR. Test B, and you know what? We are going to grab another one just uh, to say we did something interesting. Moonlight, yep, this one, eh, nah. Nope. Teal orange plus contrast. Okay, let's get this one. File, export, uh, save as, and uh, again, same story on the desktop, and uh, sorry and uh, we're going to save it there and test C. Right? Good. Now, in uh, Painter, we are going to first say File, Import Resource, Add Resource. We grab them from the desktop, from the LUT folder. We say all of three of you guys. And it's going to ask us what the fuck are those thing? Well, you will, well, they are colorless. And it's going to ask you, where the fuck do I put them? Well, you keep them only for this current session and then import. So, what if I tell you we are done? Well, we are not, we are almost done. Uh, we are going to come um, here and uh, look at our color table and profile. And we should have something called A and test. Oh, here yeah, I see them. Test A. Meh. Test B. And uh, test C. So obviously now I can come here and look at my gamma, 
start to change my gamma value and uh, make what I need to do. In this case, there's a work with IRA, right? Let's start IRA. Let's maybe uh, not override the rendering. Let's click here. Let's do that. Let's do this. Um, we're going to look at uh, our camera and we realize aperture is too strong. Let's do that. And um, we go back to here where temperature balance may be there. Actually, we need to tell him to use the color correction. Let's take it down. Exposure. And um, let's change it again. To up. That's another one of mine. Let's take it there and uh, let's take the exposure there and uh, the white balance here in the blue. Awesome. Well, that's done. That's where we are at this point. Cool. Fairly easy, right? You go in Photoshop, you export, you import, you assign your lot, you export, and you are done. So uh, if you're asking yourself, uh, oh, I like the monkey, can I have the monkey? Well, yes, you can, maybe, maybe not. This is my sample monkey, and it's going to be uh, available with my upcoming video at the Gunamon Workshop. And uh, if you have access to the video, you will also have access to the monkey, also to the other file that is going to be the main subject of the video. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching, have fun, and I hope it uh, was helpful. So, as always, if you did like this video and you want to support me to allow me to do more, please be very welcome to visit my store on uh, ArtStation or my store on Girl Mode and buy a little something. Or, if you don't want to give me any money because you think I'm an asshole and I don't deserve it, by all means, uh, if you see a homeless guy on the street tomorrow, uh, just buy him a sneakers or maybe a can of Coke. I don't know. Just pay it for a while. Thank you.